everyone. Well, as the weather is turning a little bit warmer here in the UK, I thought it was high time I got into the garage and started to try and sort out this mess behind me. Obviously, it was made far worse with the 30 plus vacuum cleaners that I got delivered on that pallet a few weeks or months ago. Now, I've sorted through most of that haul and I've made unboxing videos for quite a lot of them. All I'm left with to unbox is the duplicates. So I've got several uh, Hoover Ariannes, I've got some Morph Richards, I've got uh, an Aquavac something or other. So I've decided I'll do just one great big unboxing, just bring them all in and just unbox them all in one video because I'll have shown you every individual one separately so you won't need to see the minute details of all of them and when I'm when I've got them open I'm going to I've already selected some I'm keeping of course but as far as the Ariane goes I've opened one and it wasn't in that good a condition so I've got several others to open and I'll choose whichever one of those is the best and then I'll be selling quite a lot of the other ones so without any further ado let's take you on a quick tour of where I'm up to and what I'm going to be doing today Okie dokie, right, now a lot of stuff here isn't from the haul, it's what I've already got and there are some empty boxes amongst this lot as well. Um, so I don't have that Hoover Smart, I did the review of that quite a while ago and I sold it on. Somebody locally bought it and just collected it, didn't want the box. So inside that box at the moment I've got my Hoover Turbo Lite, um, which has got a broken... Um, the top of the bag um, that actually fits onto that springy bit is broken. I'm trying to source another one. I haven't been lucky so far. I did find a, a website that sold them, but, but, but when I ordered them, I waited weeks and they said, oh, we haven't got any. So I wasn't best pleased with them. Um, I don't have that. I don't think I don't, I don't have any Sibos in here. Oh, yes, I do. I'm thinking any... I think there is one in there that's actually... No, that's empty. I think most of the Sibos are inside. Apart from that uh, head, which I unboxed ages and ages ago and still haven't tried to fit into the uh, Ensign. That Vax was... Uh, that uh, Wash Vax, oh yes, that's indoors. That's empty box. That's an empty box. Most of these, though, are full. Well, that's empty. That... Um, Chocolate Baron AEG that uh, Patrick bought me. I will be doing a review of that. You haven't even seen the unboxing, I don't think. Um, I think there is a SIBO in there. There's a K1 in there. Now, these, these are parts of the hall. Um, I only got one Aqua... What is it? Aqua Jet. I haven't even tried the pump. It works, but I don't know if it pumps a solution. That Aquavac um, steam cleaner, I haven't even looked at yet. There's a few Morphe Richards ones, a Deu, uh, some a couple of Ruentas, another Goblin Aztec. I've unboxed one Goblin Aztec. Uh, so, and there's, what's that, a Deu, a couple of Deus. These are cleaners. Oh, that's a, a Deu. Have a, that's one I have actually shown you. Well, you haven't seen it yet, but I have done the video of that Deu. Um, these are machines I've already had. A lot of these I've had to bring here for my mum's. So you've probably seen these, the sensory uh, dust manager, I think that one is. And there's just a, a bagged sensory. Can't remember what's in that one. That's my Miele Compact C1, I've unboxed that a while ago. Oh, that's just the box for it. There's my Princess, you saw that fairly recently, but that, that's in there. I think the Ecoline C1, yes, that's in there, that needs... Uh, an unboxing. Actually, I don't think you've seen the Compact C1 unboxing yet. That's the black one. This is the white Eco line. Again, I must get to doing that video. The Blaze cylinder you'll have seen. The Hot Point you've not seen yet. Uh, I think that's a Teleos in there that you will have seen a long time ago. The Bellow Silent you've seen. That Dirt Devil, that's just the box. I need to contact them before the guarantee runs out because it's kaput. So anyway, all behind there, too deep at the back, are all boxed vacuums. Well, that Siemens is a bit uh, leaning. I'll have to look at that. So what I'm doing today, folks, apart from the vacuums in here, 
obviously we've got the regular sort of garage stuff too I mean all these are empty all these sharks are empty these shark boxes that Morphe Richards is, needs a clean up that's now I'll be selling that one I've made a video of that too that Bosch you've not seen yet um, I've done the unboxing I need to make the review I'll probably end up selling that on um, I don't think I don't know if you've seen the you've seen the unboxing for bagged idol I'm not sure if you've seen the I think you have seen the unboxing for that, but no, again, that's just empty. Got the Dyson box, I need to sell the Dysons. Um, yeah, so I've got other things in here apart from uh, vacuums. Stuff you'd find in a normal garage. Oh, that's the Alpina. I got uh, two Alpinas. Both of them very good. You saw a glimpse of the red one, uh, which is in here. I've got a white one as well. The switch was faulty on it. I have bought a new switch and I need to fit it. So, but right, apart from the vacuums, folks, inside these plastic boxes um, are basically, well, one whole pile from floor to ceiling is my DVDs, but just the boxes for them, to, because I've got hundreds of DVDs, and to store them in a smaller space, I took them all out of the boxes and bought these big um, hold-all things, you know, you just slide the uh, things in, so that saves space. So I don't know what to do about those, but probably about at least 10 to 12 of these boxes are just mainly full of literature. Mainly, well, it's not all vacuums. There's a lot of old brochures, catalogues, next directories. I've got some Playmobil catalogues. Um, so that I'm just, what I'm doing today is bringing more or less everything that's in these boxes into my living room <laughs> to sort them. So... I'll free up a lot of space on this inside wall to to get the vacuums. Um, a lot of these leaflets and brochures will probably just go for recycling. There's no point trying to sell them on eBay. I will be keeping, there's any Hoover ones, vacuum ones that keep being kept, but there's so much I need to sort through and it'll be nicer for me to sort through in my living room rather than trying to do it here in this garage. Uh, my living room carpet's absolutely ruined anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'll be replacing that hopefully this year. It's been shampooed that often. So um, that's where I'm at today. Oh yeah, I've got two jet and washes. I unbox those together. You'll see that video at some point. But none the the um, pumps on them don't work. They do work. They come on. But for the life of me, I can't get it to pump solution out. Everything else is fine. There's a few other bits wrong with them, but... So I'm going to have to look into that. The pump goes. I can't see any blockage. But So, you know, it was pluses and minuses uh, with that pallet. As far as the Turbo Masters go, of course they're not in here. I took those inside. Um, the first one I unboxed, which I haven't seen yet, it worked, and now it doesn't work at all. And the second one I unboxed, it works, but the electronics are a bit dodgy. So I'm going to have to look at that. I haven't touched the other three. There is one that looks factory sealed, so I'm going to open that and fiddle about, and then I will. I'll be keeping two, and I will be getting round. I, you know, I haven't um, said anything to people who have been wanting them because I've just not done anything with them. That's purely that. It's not because I'm going to hoard them. It's just because I haven't had time to do them. Um, you'd appreciate if you saw the mess that's in my house as well as in this garage, and uh, it's not nice living in this tip. So I thought I'd just update you with what's going on, to uh, because uh, you know a lot of you were interested in that big hoard, and I've not really said much about it since, you know, because of the trouble it caused um, with certain members. So, um, but no, it was it was a purchase I don't regret at all for the cleaners. Even if I I just get pennies for the rest that I'm selling, I'm not bothered because I'm happy with what I got for the money. And it's, it was never about making any profit at all. Um, so a lot will be given, not given away, but sold very cheaply, I suspect. Um, so yes, I'll just tell you, I've got, I'm on Instagram now. I don't know if you know, I just suddenly sort of... I've been on inst Instagram for ages, but I never sort of put anything on it. I didn't see the point. But now I, I'm sort of getting used to what it's about. It's better than Twitter, so I've put videos on there. I, I, I've been doing a couple of live videos, which has been fun. I just did a couple, spur of the moment. So I haven't, didn't have many people watching because it was just, oh, let's see what this, how it works. So 
I had a bit of a chat to a few of you and it was really good because it was very interactive because as I was speaking people were typing comments and I could respond more or less straight away. So I think I'll be doing that, well I will be doing it again, but what I'll do, I'll publicise when it's going to happen on Instagram. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll leave a link underneath here. There's other things I put on, apart from vacuums, it is still mainly vacuums, but I will be publicising on Instagram, on Twitter and on my Ibasiac Facebook page when I'm going to do a live stream and I'm thinking it'll be a Sunday or possibly a Saturday in the afternoon when hopefully some of my overseas viewers, especially my American viewers who, who are several hours behind me, I think it's behind, um, so say I do it on at 4 in the afternoon on a Sunday, I think it'll be 11am for a lot of you on a Sunday morning in the USA so hopefully you'll be able to join me and I'll um, respond to your comments live so that'll be fun and I hope to do it on YouTube as well a live stream on YouTube when I work out how to do it right so that's it then um, that Beko dryer yes you should I don't know if you've seen them yet it depends when I put this on I might put this on on Monday I'm not sure but some of you know I got a new dryer and washing machine an AEG one so that Beko dryer is spoken for, a colleague of mine is having that, so I need to take it out of here, give it a good clean up, uh, vac it out and everything, and um, that will be going. There's a Bosch washing machine in under there, which has to be sold, as well as the later Bosch washing machine that I've just taken out, which is still in my kitchen actually. So uh, there you go, the enormity. And this is not, you know, this is just, I don't know how many is here, but I mean, if we look at up here, this garage has a pitched roof, and there are vacuums up there. I bought, I boarded it all up there. Look, and they're up to the ceiling. So what I need to do first is get rid of the hoard excess, really, and then, whoops, then start looking at some other vacuums that I think I no longer want to own and give give them uh, the opportunity or sell them so somebody else can have use of them and get some pleasure out of them. So thanks for watching this little update. Remember, please follow me on Instagram if you want to see my live stream coming up very soon, I expect. Uh, I do quite like doing them. Um, I'm also, if you don't know, I'm also on Facebook as well. Lots of exclusive bits and bobs on there and on Twitter, but I don't use Twitter very much at all, especially now i found Instagram. I think Instagram is, is a little bit better and easier for an old man like me to use. That's it then. I hope you enjoy whatever else I've got coming up for you, which is, believe you me, there is a lot coming up. I have just, hopefully, I've put in a letter at work to reduce my hours so I can, I'll can. i be working four days a week, which does give me an extra full day to devote to making videos that are long overdue. So please stay subscribed, please click on the bell icon and you'll be updated every time I upload a new video. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.